Joanne and Arthur Bailey built their home in Richmond Heights in 1964. They've lived in the same Richmond Heights neighborhood for almost 50 years. Now, the city of Richmond Heights wants to use tax dollars to change this community into a commercial development, and the threat of eminent domain is hanging over their heads. The Baileys and a few of their neighbors sat down with me to talk about it. My oldest child started at West Richmond in December of 1964. And all of them started at West Richmond and finished at Maplewood Richmond High School District, high school. And I understand you're about to celebrate 50 years in this house? Uh, yeah, in a couple of years. <laughs> Until a few years ago, this was a strong middle class community. Now it has been severely damaged by the municipal developer complex as residents expected their homes to be bought, or taken, and torn down for a shopping center, some of them stopped keeping up their properties. And who can blame them? Despite the dilapidated conditions in other parts of the neighborhood, the Baileys want to stay in their home. Well, we want to stay, first of all, this is our home. God gave it to us, and we moved in here when our children were small, my husband and I worked night and day to pay for it, to struggle and pay our taxes so we wouldn't lose it. And uh, it's, we raised our children here, and now our children are gone, and this house is still big enough and small enough for us to kind of live here. And because it's ours, nobody has a right to take that away from us and nobody has a right to coerce us and put pressure on us. That's wrong. We're in America, and that's not the way Americans are supposed to live. No one's home should be taken and given to a private developer. Now in this case, the developers have told the Baileys they don't intend to take their home. But other homes in this neighborhood have been taken by prior developers. So you can excuse the Baileys if they don't quite believe it. Just to think that I worked two jobs, she worked one, brought our children up here, and then to, to somebody to, with authority to come in and say, we're going to take your home. That's a hurt. But it's nothing we can do. 